Now we're going to solve a three-part inequality. 6 is less than or equal to 5x minus 4, which is less than or equal to 1, 16 rather. All right, our goal is to trap the variables between the constants. To do this, I have to move the constant, negative 4, out to the ends where the constants are. So I add 4 to all three parts of this three-part inequality. What that leaves me with is 10 is less than or equal to 5x plus 0, which is less than or equal to 20. So 10 is less than or equal to 5x, which is less than or equal to 20. Now I have to have x all by itself, so I have to divide by 5 so that I can get 1x, but I have to do the same thing to all three parts of this three-part inequality. That leaves me with 2 is less than or equal to 1x is less than or equal to 4. So 2 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 4. So x can equal any number between 2 and 4, including 2 and including 4, because neither of the inequalities is a strict inequality. I'll have a bracket at 2 and a bracket at 4 and a line connecting the two of them. And the interval notation will look very much like the graph.